102.7 WOBM. Good morning. Sean and Sue with you with Christina Aguilera on a chilly Monday morning. It's 839 and it is October, Sue. Yes. It's a brand new month and October, of course, Breast Cancer Awareness Mm. Month as well. Joining us right now is Dr. Catherine Campo, breast surgeon with Hackensack Meridian Health. October is National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and she's here to talk about that and Women Rock with uh, Meridian as well. So good morning, doctor. Welcome. Hi, doctor. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me here this morning. Such an important month, mammograms, mammograms. So tell us why you're here and uh, what you want to talk about. Um, So I'm here to talk about breast cancer awareness, and this is important because it affects one in eight women in their lifetime. Um, So it's quite common. Um, But luckily, the survival rate uh, from breast cancer is improving every year. That's good news. Great news. What are some of the screenings or exams, uh, doctor, that women should schedule when it comes to cancer prevention and awareness? So they should always schedule a clinical breast examination with either their gynecologist, their primary care doctor, or a breast surgeon. And then those doctors will then send them for a screening mammogram. Very good, very good. What are some common questions that women uh, have when they seek information, when they come to you and and other doctors when, you know, dealing with breast cancer? Mm -hmm. So some women will be wondering, what are the signs of breast cancer? Um, Some of the signs can be a lump or nipple discharge or a change in the skin. Um, But often there's no sign of breast cancer at all. Mm. It's just something that shows up on their mammogram. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Do you find that, uh, you know, sometimes people are quick to dismiss it like it couldn't be that severe? Like that might be something that they might think, oh, it couldn't be cancer. You know, must just, you know, that type of thing. Yeah, that can definitely happen. Yeah. I think a lot of women my age, I'm 46, and Mm -hmm. talking to friends and girlfriends, you know, their kids now are probably teenagers at this point. I started a little later, so I have a younger one. But I hear from them, they haven't gotten a mammogram in years. They haven't been to the doctor in years. Or they didn't even start getting a mammogram, I should say, because sometimes if you're at a certain age, I had to start young because it runs in my family, and my mom had it. So... But and that's what I hear all the time. I'm so, so I'm always like, I think you should probably go and get it just for precaution. Well, no, I don't have any time. I can't go. You know, it's been years since I've been there. And isn't that the excuse oh, that yeah. you hear a lot? We hear yeah. that a lot. A lot of times women are taking care of their family mm-hmm. and their friends. They put everybody else first. Absolutely. So, and it's so important yes. for us to go get our mammograms. Do you think it's that mentality? No new, uh, no, uh, you know, uh, you no know, bad news is good news. You know, in other words, let's not, you know, stir it I up here. I still think that's the way it is. You right. Know, yeah. It, you know, what I don't know won't hurt me. That mm-hmm. kind right. of thing. So, yeah. but, but early prevention is key when it comes to, especially this type of cancer, right? Absolutely, because if we catch it early, they have a great prognosis. They could be scared too, and it Mm -hmm. is scary. It is, if it's your first time getting a mammogram. Well, it is scary because, oh, I mean, you scariest. are going in yeah. to get a test where they sure. could possibly turn around and say, well, you know, we found Absolutely. something. Absolutely, or know, we found something. Yeah, I always have to stay yeah. longer, you know, and then you have to get that, um, what is it, an x-ray or an, x-ray or a, uh, what is it, an ultrasound, you know, then they have you stay longer. And then, you know, it is very, very scary, yeah. but you have to do it. We are talking with Dr. Catherine Campo from Hackensack Meridian Health. Uh, tell us a little bit about Women Rock and the event that's happening this month. What, what's this all about? Yeah, so Women Rock is a great free event held in Asbury Park at the Convention Hall. Um, it's on Saturday, October 21st from 12 to 5 p.m. Mm-hmm. And it's a great event that promotes women's wellness. There's different activities, different speakers, um, live music, um, some cooking demos. Um, so really wonderful event to bring women together to help them learn more about themselves. And the date on that again is October? October 21st. Very good. Mm-hmm. And that's happening in Asbury Park. So folks can go there, have a good time, but at the same time get good vital that's information. A great thing. Mm-hmm. And, of course, if you have any questions for the folks at uh, Meridian Hackensack Health, uh, you can also call 1-800-DOCTORS-SUE for Hackensack Meridian Health. And, uh, Dr. Campo, we thank you for being in. And, of course, this month, National Breast Cancer Awareness Month, but we hope that women think about breast cancer 12 months out of the year, right? Yes. Exactly. Women rock. There you we go. We sure do, don't we? That's yes. happening on October 21st <laughs> yes, do, in Asbury Park. Yes, you do, Sue. And yes. we'll have more details on we that stay healthy. coming up on our website at WOBM.com.